cerebellar. <clears throat> All right, so let's do cerebellar examination. Okay, what kind of scenario you might get? You are in general medical ward. Your patient is Janet Clark. She's 65, referred by the GP because of the suspicion of cerebellar ataxia. Patient is a diagnosed case of diabetes. The diabetes is well controlled. Talk to the patient, assess and discuss the management with the patient, right? So in this station, why are we doing cerebellar examination? Because a patient has been sent by the GP in the hospital because of the suspicion of cerebellar ataxia. All right, so first you take history. The patient is saying, I'm feeling clumsy. What do you mean by clumsy? You need to elaborate it. Patient is like, I love knitting. I used to knit for my grandchildren, but because of uh, feeling this clumsiness, I can't do it, but I really want to do it, doctor. Hmm. For how long you've been having this problem? The problem is from last three months and it is getting worse. Okay. Do you have anything else? Any other symptom? Yes. Doctor, if I'm walking, I don't feel comfortable. I feel I'm going to fall, but I don't fall, fortunately. All right. And this is also happening for last three months and also it's getting worse. Okay. Do you have any other symptom? Yes, doctor. If I'm holding anything in my hand, if I'm holding anything in my hand, it just slips down. Okay. <clears throat> so it's also for last three months and it is getting worse. All right. If you've got any other symptom, no doctor. So now patient has got so many symptoms and uh, the GP was suspecting cerebellar ataxia and GP has referred this patient to us. So now what you do, this patient is feeling clumsy, this patient is feeling uh, uh, dizzy, this patient is having problem in walking, patient has got problem in holding things as well. So what you're supposed to do here, you try to find out the reason, what can be the reason behind it, right? So you can ask about if there is any infection, if that can be the reason. Right? So that is something that you can ask. Then you can ask if the patient has got any eye ear problem. Patient has got diabetes. Just check if the diabetes is well controlled or not. Check for diabetes, hypertension and everything. Ask one, two questions for stroke TIA as well. Any weakness in any part of the body, any problem with the speech and all. Right? Eye problems, I'm just trying to rule out the uh, MS as well, multiple sclerosis as well. So you have to ask a few questions just to see. Uh, that I'm trying, just to show it to the exam, that I'm trying my best to find out the cause. In the exam, you may not be able to find out the cause, but they want to see how much did you try? Did you try to rule out the differentials or not, right? Maybe alcohol history might be helpful as well. Family history might be helpful as well. Then what do you do after taking history? You have to do the examination. So in cerebellar examination, what are the things that you check? We check for speech. Usually we go for these three words, British Constitution, Baby Hippopotamus, 42 West Register Street. Then the eye movement, you can check for nystagmus. Then for the coordination, you can check for finger nose test, dysdiadocokinesia, heel to shin test. Then we've got gait, tandem gait, and the rhombo. Rhombo sign will be quite helpful. You will be able to find out if it is cerebellar or if it is sensory ataxia by doing this rhombo test. Patient is having problem in holding things as well. I would like you to check the tone in the upper limb as well. Right? So these are the things that you can check. Now, you may not be able to do the full examination. You may not be able to do the full examination. Wherever you reach, it's okay. Now, the thing is, the management won't be different. Management will be what? Uh, so... The management would be, you will be keeping this patient in the hospital. You will be doing some blood investigation just to make sure there is no infection. Doing maybe urine uh, test as well, just to make sure we don't have any urine infection as well. And then you have to go for CT or MRI scan. So what is it? Is it a tumor? We don't know. But the thing is, you've been having these symptoms for the last couple of months. The examination I've done, I couldn't find any abnormality. But then you have the symptoms for a very long time. So I have to do a scan to find out what exactly is happening with you. So that is something that you can do as a part of management in the station of cerebellar ataxia. All right.